Yo, what's good with y'all, gang? And one question, bro, that I've been getting asked so much. Now, scratch that. One question that the GTA Online community has been asking for the longest time is, where the hell is the Cluck and Bell farm raid, bro? And in this video, gang, I just wanted to give y'all my thoughts and predictions on the Cluck and Bell raid, when I think it's gonna release, what it is, and all that type of stuff, bro. So without further ado, let's get right into it, gang. All right, bro, so the straight started out, bro, if you don't know what the Cluck and Bear raid is, or if you don't know what I'm talking about, first of all, where have you been and why don't you know this? But basically, bro, long story short, the Cluck and Bear raid is a brand new, unreleased, high style mission or whatever, or like high style contact mission with the return of the homie Vincent. If you don't know who Vincent is, that means you haven't done none of the Diamond Casino stuff. You haven't done, you haven't met him in the Diamond Casino heist, or you haven't done the actual Diamond Casino contact missions that came out way, way back in the day, like what, 2018, something like that? Like that back in those days man so Vincent used to be a security guard and now he's a police officer you can see the new cutscenes and stuff like that if you want to I ain't gonna add it in this video because for one I don't want to see it I actually haven't seen the um the cutscenes or whatever like that like anytime somebody ever tried to show me the cutscenes I skipped it the only thing I have seen is probably like the first few minutes of some of the cutscene or whatever like that man but you do get a cutscene and stuff like that man like I said if you want to go watch it you can go watch it on YouTube you can search it up you can go watch TGG video or subscribe for tacos they both got the cutscene in their videos or whatever like that game but you meet up with the homie vince and he call you on the phone stuff like that and he basically hits you up letting you know like hey i'm a police officer i need you here it's basically a um a, a heist a heist style mission it's it's labeled a raid but it's kind of a heist man you got setups you got oh my god but yeah gang you got these setup missions you got like things that you need to do things that you need to work on things like a whole bunch of stuff that you can kind of do man to get this thing set up bro so it's like five different setup missions and i think like two different approaches and like finales two different finales or whatever not two different finales but two different finale approaches you got like a stealthy way and you got like a uh, aggressive way which the aggressive way is the way i'm definitely gonna be trying to do the game bro i ain't gonna lie to you i for sure want to do the aggressive one bro but for me, a lot of people have been trying to speculate and try to say like when they think the missions or whatever gonna drop, when they think that they gonna come out. And from what I heard, from what I'm remembering at least, the homie TGG, he guessed that it was gonna come out basically tomorrow on the 20th. As we can tell, at least I'm not 100% sure. I don't think they are gonna drop tomorrow. To be honest, I actually don't even know why he thought that they was gonna drop on a Monday. Maybe he just said it because he thought, you know what I'm saying, since Rockstar gonna be releasing a new DLC for PlayStation 4 or whatever to get rid of the Rockstar editor that he thought that they was gonna add it, which they very much could, but obviously we not getting it, bro. If you want my straight up prediction on when I believe the whole entire thing gonna drop, I actually think it'll be no later than in like April, but we probably won't see it till like early March. That's the reason why I say that is because for one, we got two whole entire vehicles to still wait on. I was gonna say one whole entire vehicle to wait on because of simple the fact that we know confirmation of when the new Impala SS dropping. We getting that sometime this week. We getting that like Thursday, I think. But we don't know when the um the Jeep is dropping, and we know that the Jeep is gonna come out before the Gunlet Hellcat or the Gunlet Police Hellfire, which is coming out with the inclusion of this new mission or whatever you feel what i'm saying so we're not getting it until maybe a couple of weeks my thing is i think what they're gonna do is they dropped the baller std this week or last week and this week they're gonna drop the impala ss then we're gonna end up probably end up waiting another two weeks before we see the jeep the new jeep vehicle i can't even think of the name of it but the new jeep vehicle and then probably the week after that or maybe a week or so after that is when we'll see the new cluck and bear raid or whatever man like i said my feelings about the cluck and bear raid i I think this is what's gonna bring a little bit more of like a revised feel back for the game man right now like i said i don't think the game dead i don't even want to say like hey gta right now is dead or whatever because eh, everybody love to overuse that terminology and it really don't be that true man gta don't really be dead it might just be in a dry spot but to say that it's dead is nah that ain't really the truth game but it is in a spot where we kind of need a little bit of, of, of a revive or whatever we need a little bit of some hypeness or something for people to do besides running around killing each other and all that like we need some extra hypeness for everybody else in the community bro so i literally think that they will drop it soon but i don't think it's gonna be as soon like we will not see the cluck and bear raid with
within the next couple of days or whatever like that. Like, I don't think we're gonna get it within, do you know, the rest of February. Like, unfortunately, Black History Month won't be great as far as GTA Online and stuff go. Like I said, I maybe can see it dropping maybe the middle of March. Like, whatever the middle of March, I'll probably say like the second or third week of March. Probably more so the third week of March than anything, but I think around that time is when we'll actually see the Cluck and Bear Raid. As far as everything else with the Cluck and Bear Raid and all the, you know, the leaks and, you know, my feelings on it and stuff like that. Like I said, I think it's just gonna be another little raid and it's gonna be something for us to do, man. I don't know, like, as far as payments go and how good I think they're gonna be or how bad I think they're gonna be. I actually really can't tell y'all that. I'm gonna guess that they're gonna be kind of on par with, like, the auto shop contracts. We might be able to make a couple of hundred grand with this. Of course, they're gonna have, like, different challenges and stuff. It might be a different, like, career progress thing that we gonna get with it. Stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? Like, whilst I've been trying to do a lot of things to kind of make, like, a lot of this content kind of replayable over and over and over again. Another thing, but one thing I will say that I'm actually kind of scared of, I'm actually kind of scared of, like, a difficulty, like, drip feed thing. Y'all notice, like, in these missions, I'm doing these Dex missions right now, y'all notice how they, like, kind of, like, drip feed hard mode in these missions. Like, right now, these are double money, right? But we can't do these double money with hard mode because you can only do a normal because hard mode is a drip feed thing. You can only get hard mode on these through drip feed. You can't do it like that. So, I think they might end up doing some bullshit like that, my nigga, where we end up having to wait on the hard mode or wait on whatever, like, little nitpicky shit that they got, we're gonna end up having to wait on it or something like that. You feel what I'm saying? But I am excited for it. I'm a stupid excited for the um the gun the Hellcat police car. I've been waiting on that for the longest time. I actually have been holding off on getting a damn police car, just waiting for the gun the hellfire police car to release, bro. Like I don't really care about no other police car but that police car, and I need that, bro. Like I need that modded ASAP, buddy. But I think it's gonna be dope. Like I said, I like that it got cutscenes. Y'all know I'm a big sucker for cutscenes. I've been staying away from trying to look at the cutscenes too early. I just don't want to be spoiled because I like cutscenes and I be wanting my cutscenes and my reactions to be organic. I be wanting my very first like real reactions to whatever the hell coming out in these games and whatever that I'm doing on my channel to be kind of organic. Like I don't want to be like, oh I already seen this shit so I'm either going to A pretend that it's my first time seeing it or I'm going to have to, you know, fake over the, the cutscenes or whatever like that man. But if you don't know, like I said, you're going to have like a, a plethora of setup missions. They're going to have a whole bunch of different tiers of setup missions you can do. I forgot exactly what they call. Like hold on, let me say. So we gonna have the Mayor Boot, the Grande, the Professionals, and the Military Grade, like, setup missions you can do. And I'm guessing with each setup mission, it's gonna be a bigger challenge and stuff like that. So, with each setup missions, like, the Mayor Boot, the Grande, is gonna be the easiest setup missions, but you're gonna also get the weaker stuff. And with the, like, the Military Grade stuff that we can steal, it's gonna be a harder setup mission, but we'll have better grade armor and stuff like that. And I think it's like equipment, too, because I think if you go up to the Military Grade stuff, I think it's like a thing where you get the better armor, but you run slow or something like that or you won't be able to run as fast or your stamina go down quicker or some type of give and take when it come down to that right there again so this gonna be interesting i think rasta gonna do a good job with this as always like don't expect nothing extremely flushed out as far as like an official official heights go but i definitely do expect these to be kind of on par with something like the auto shop contracts or really just auto shop contract like really nothing else i can think of right off top of the dome can really compare to what those things are. I'm guessing like an auto shop contract, except it's gonna be just one of them, and you're gonna be able to do it two different ways. Like I said, I'm more interested in doing the aggressive way, because that's just me. I just like stuff going pew pound and, and exploding, but I'm also interested in how you're gonna be able to do it still, and what happens if you end up breaking stuff? Like, what happens if I end up messing up the stuff? Do we just fail because you had to do it stealthy, or does it just turn into an aggressive, and you just kind of mess up your, you know what I'm saying, objectives or challenges or something by doing it still? And also, I don't know exactly what they expect for the payout. I would expect anything from probably 150k to probably around maybe 350k, maybe 450k maximum. I don't really expect these to give us a whole bunch of bread, but I do expect these to be one of the better paying things that you can do in the whole entire game. And I heard you can do these solo too, so that's also gonna be interesting. I think I might do a video when they drop of me completely solo in them. Like, I know for a fact if I end up doing it on stream, I'm gonna end up doing it with y'all ass. So that's pointless. So I might just do a video of me just trying to solo at least one of them. I might try to do a solo stealthy one or a solo aggressive one. Whichever one I decide to do. I don't know. It depends on which one I think going to be easy, I guess, for the video. Like, if I think I can do a solo stealth and I think I have an easier time with that, then I'll go for that. But if I just enjoy the chaosness, I'm definitely going aggressive. Like, I'm just, I just like the aggressiveness, though, bro. But I don't really got too much.
much to go off of because there is, even though there's a lot of leaks and stuff, it's pretty much just bare minimum things that people kind of already know about and kind of already got an idea of. Like, we know that there's going to be setup missions that you can see the actual names of the setup missions and all that type of stuff. I'm just really not trying to, like, go into, like, stupid detail because, for one, I don't want to, like, really spoil it for myself or spoil it for any of y'all that want to kind of go in that shit blind. And two, it's so many videos, bro. Everybody and they mama pretty much then, you know, did all the everything you need to know about the chicken, the cluck and bear raid. I was going to say the chicken bear raid, the cluck and bear raid for him, birdie. So, it's really not much else that I can bring to the table besides my thoughts and when I think it's going to drop. The earliest, I'm going to guess the middle of March. But at the latest, the latest could damn near always be, be damn near almost May, to be honest. Like, if, if Rockstar decided to go and pull the okie doke, it could be damn near May, which would be insane in the end, bro. But leaving stuff in Rockstar hand is definitely always a toss up in the air, like no cap. You never know what you're gonna get when you just leave something in Rockstar hands. But that's my thoughts, that's my process. Let me know how y'all feeling about it, bro. Like, what y'all think it do? What, when do y'all think it's gonna drop? Are y'all excited for the Cucker Bear Ray? Do you just hope that they hurry up and release? the shit let me know down in the, in the comment section what y'all feelings is buddy for me i'm a guest earliest middle of march and that's pretty much all i got man leave it to rockstar they may shit on us and make us wait all the way into fucking may that's just them gang what you gonna do